Hey guys, what's going on? So, um, as promised, I'm now going to show you how to make the seashell. So, yep, since today's Wednesday, I'm going to show you how to fold it. Okay? Alright, so ready, set, here goes. Alright, so, this model, I think I folded from a 4-inch square, okay? And that's how I'm going to use, okay? And to learn how to get a 4-inch square, click on the video up on the top right-hand corner here, okay? Alright, so, let's begin by folding in half. Okay? Unfold and fold in half this way. Okay. All right. Now, unfold and now fold this point to the middle. Okay. And rotate and fold this point to here. Okay. Just like that. All right. Now turn over. And now, let's take this edge and we're going to fold it to the crease, okay? And as you're doing it, you're going to let this point swing out like that. Okay? Just like that. And crease. You can lift this up and crease sharply, okay? And fold it down. Alright, and now, repeat on this side. So, fold this edge to here. You're going to let that point swing out, okay? And really make sure that this crease and this crease are touching right here, okay? Like the right way. Perfectly. Okay, and lift this up and crease sharply. Or you can do it like that, I don't know how. Alright, like that, okay? Alright, now let's fold it in half. Oh, this is a variation of my cat head and my dog head, okay? Actually, click on one of these videos if you want to learn how to fold those, okay? Alright, now fold this point to that point. No, we're not making a dog head, we're making a seashell. <laughs> Okay, and fold this point to here. Okay, I'm gonna have to lower the camera for this. Okay, all right. So like that. So um, now we're gonna do we're gonna, we're gonna take this and we're just gonna we're just gonna pull it out like that. Okay, and how much do you want to pull it out? Well, it's to taste. So I say probably about like this. This is probably the hardest step of the whole model, but um. If you're using a 4 inch, then I say about probably like this. Okay? Just about like that is good. Okay? I like that. Now I'm unfold here. And we're going to open here and we're going to reverse fold. So just like that. Okay? And now we're going to lock these two points together. Okay? And to do that, we're going to kind of open here. And we're going to take this point here and we're going to fold it to this point, but inside. Okay? And here we go. Can be kind of tricky, but um, there. All right, about like that's good. Okay, and now repeat that on this side. So I'm gonna just pull it out here, like that. When you're pulling it out, you really need to be careful too, so you don't like tear the paper or something. Okay. Because sometimes it can be hard to pull out sometimes, okay? And unfold here, and reverse fold. Okay? And now let's do the lock with these two points here. I folded it that way. This is like near right here. So it doesn't matter which way. Long leather lock, you're gonna jape. Okay, all right. So now we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna take this. Actually, I'm gonna turn over and do it. Okay, I want this to be the front side. Okay, so we're gonna do. We're gonna fold this up in between these two points, and make sure that this point aligns with the middle crease. Okay, just like that. Okay, all right. Now let's take this point. We're gonna fold it to this point here. Hold this down too. Okay, so down the slide. And we're just gonna make a pinch mark probably somewhere right here. So like that and unfold now fold this point to the pinch mark. Okay. Lower the camera quite more. Okay. So like that. And this point right here should touch this crease. Okay. 
and repeat that all on this side, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna go at my own speed for this. Okay, like that. All right, so now it's just all about shaping it now. So we're just gonna um, do, and actually before we shape it, let's make, let's go ahead and make the, the lines right here, okay? So, and all those are going to originate at this point here, where this crease hits this edge, so that point, okay? So I'm going to make one that goes right here. Okay. And for this, I'm, it doesn't really matter how much you do. The more you do, I think the better it will look. But I'm just going to do a few of them. Because it's easier. Okay, so just like this. We're making mountain fold first, and then we're going to put valley fold in between them, so. Just like that. See how they're all anchoring at this point here? Okay. And that, I'll just say it's a mountain fold. I'll just make it a mountain fold. Okay. All right. Because I don't feel like making a bunch of creases right here on this model. Because that's going to take quite a while, so. I'm just going to do a few of them because it's quicker and it's easier. Okay. Well, it's easier, too, guys. Okay, I like that. So that's what it looks like, okay? All right, now let's put some valleys in between them. So we're gonna take these two creases, we're gonna bring them together, like this. And like that, okay? And I'll go ahead and fold this edge to this crease too, okay? Just to put a valley in between here too. There, like that. All right, now take these two creases, bring them together. that unfold and now bring these two creases together okay and these two creases together okay and these two creases together right here Like that. It does. It's all right. If it's kind of not clean. That's all right. It's a seashell, so yeah. And these two creases together. I don't need to keep saying that. <laughs> We're just putting valley folds in between them, okay? And I don't need to put a valley fold here. It's fine, okay? And once you do that, here is your seashell, okay? All right. Now, if you like it like this, then you're done. But I almost forgot. If you want to kind of round it more like this, then it's just all about shaping the tape, guys. Just Kind of fold the points back like this. I'm gonna do it like this. Shape it however you want, guys. I'm just gonna. I like doing it like this. This is how I like to shape things right here. Kind of round things and stuff to taste. Okay, there. And it's quick too. All right. And once you do that, here it is. Now the seashell is round. Okay. And uh, it doesn't really. It's not really a spinner. Okay. All right. Well, here it is. It's, it's also. I think it's a flicker too. Wow, that went way far. Oh my god. Look how far that went. I'm, I'm going to zoom in on it right here. See, it went all the way over there. See it? I cannot believe that. Alright. Alright, so here it is, your seashell. Hope you guys were able to fold that, and if you weren't able to fold it, well, try my simpler version that I taught here, okay? Because that's a bit easier than this, and it's cleaner too, okay? But I like this one because it looks like an ordinary seashell, okay? Alright, hope you guys like that, and make a demo of this if you were able to fold it, okay? Alright, see you guys later. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.